Welcome to another video about your cat pet and we're looking at the phase two part of your pet. We're busy with your Excel spreadsheet and this video is going to show you how you get one little mark if you want to get that mark for example for your pet. And I think you should go for it. You get all the marks you can get. So it's to get the external data for your Excel spreadsheet. Now by this time you've probably done a questionnaire, you've got all your, your values inputted into a spreadsheet, you've got all your results and now you're busy with your spreadsheet, either doing your calculations and that. And then all of a sudden you look at your rubric and there you see the under spreadsheet quality says analysis includes relevant and appropriate data and there they've bolded the word other than the responses from the response. So we need information in your spreadsheet that is not from the survey. So we need to do that. So that's what I, that's what I would do. So if you look at our spreadsheet that we made, we made a spreadsheet. We did our raw data. I made it look a little bit pretty. So I added some colors and schemes and stuff like that. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to go to this external tab. And this is where I'm going to put my external data just to get that one little mark. Okay, so what are we going to do? Well, first of all, we need to go on to, to find information or statistics that we can do some sort of analysis in Excel with. So that's to do, and it depends obviously on your PAT topic, so you need to go look for that. So I'm doing uh, this video in 2022, and so the PAT topic was got something to do with privacy on, online and stuff like that. So maybe you want to look particularly at social media. So we want social media statistics in South Africa. So to help you find that information, I would search for social media statistics South Africa, or would be quite specific with what you want, but the key word here is statistics. And then if you are dealing particularly with South Africa, the South African context, then search for South Africa. Depending on what your topic, maybe the future years it'll be about recycling and you want to talk about recycling statistics in South Africa. So you can find exactly what you want to look for. So by doing that, you should find maybe something that's quite recent. There, there's a chart that can give you some numbers and that. Um, we don't want the actual chart. We're going to create our own chart, but we want the numbers. We want some sort of numbers that we can use to make our own little chart based on other data. If in your phase one you found a resource that has that and that's great but if you don't this is you probably haven't thought of you've seen that before so let's look if you find here maybe there's some stats that you can find find an article that relates that can give you actual numbers or percentages that can be useful another idea if you search in online is to search for whatever you're looking for instead of searching for statistics search for the word infographic and there you might find a particular like like data or something like that. Maybe you want this particular one and you can go look at that particular image and that image can give you statistics on infographics, normally have summaries of information and they can give you lots of good, good information. So there we go. So there's that image. So I can then go and visit the site. And that's very important that when you visit the site, you need to actually get where you got that information from because you need to reference this. You can't just use it willy nilly. Okay. So let's just, I'm going to open this in a new, just to open the image in a new tab so I can see what this looks like. And so yeah, you can go view in and you can go, ah, oh, so there's some nice numbers over there. We can play around with the top 10 most platforms. Um, but I'm looking particularly for like things like that, statistics, numbers like that. Those really help me so I can look, make graphs and stuff like that. Okay, So that's what you're looking for. But again, remember where you got the actual data from. So when you are doing this in your spreadsheet, then obviously give it a little heading here of information about... X, Y, Z. You give it a nice little heading and then you write down the, the numbers or the values that you got from that particular image or infographic or statistics. I'm just going to go ahead and just add random stuff down. So I've written just random stuff. Let's pretend I found a website with that. And the key thing that I would like you to do as well is to also write down the source of where you got that information. If there's a title or whatever and the date you accessed it just so that you can reference it later. So always fill that in. I like to put it into my spreadsheet so that I can refer to it later. If it was an infographic, you might want to insert the infographic here, but also again, reference where you got that infographic from. Or maybe you want to crop part of the infographic to get just the part that you are referring to. So I went to make it look a little bit prettier, um, obviously following the themes of what the color schemes you would like to apply, make sure that it looks nice and presentable because you want it to look nice and professional. And then later on, when you get to your charts, you can actually use this data as one of your charts as well. And then in your phase three, when you're talking about your research and you're talking about results, you can sometimes refer to this as part of your findings or, or part of your discussion. So you obviously find something that's relevant to your topic. So when you search, search for particularly South African statistics, or if you're looking for 
infographic that might give you some nice information. And so by doing this, this is obviously information that wasn't asked in your survey. And therefore, you get that lovely little tick. If I go, yeah, oh, I got data that's from other than my responses. So hopefully then you'll get that mark over there. I know it seems like a lot just for extra mark, but all marks count. So get them all. Like Pokemon, got to catch them all. For the other pat tips, go to our YouTube channel, click on the subscribe button, go to the playlist, and you'll find all the cat pat tips there for your pet. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.